the world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio program. Raw and uncut, Jiggy Jag, you know how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it all the way live. Broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Well, I'm sitting here with a linguist. I had a linguist. no idea. <laughs> I, love I didn't that. know you were, but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. 267-22-Jiggy. Hey, Jiggy, what's happening, man? Must be that uh, David Bowie song. Jiggy play guitar. Okay. Je- it's a great name, man. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and, uh, you know, you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my tricks up there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. Okay, we are going to talk about some Nazis. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk Nazis here on the world famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio broadcast. Coast to coast, to border to border on iHeartRadio and also AMFM247.com. Whatever the hell the cast box is, we're over there as well. Castbox.fm, whatever the f- that is. And uh, Dean Router is going to join us here in just a few moments. We had a whole bunch of damn phone calls I had to make during the uh, during the break, but uh, Dean Router, the hidden Nazi. We're going to be talking to Mr. Dean Router, the hidden Nazi. He's a hidden Nazi, but he's hiding in plain sight. That's the question. He's hiding in plain sight. So we are going to go to Dean Router. Oh, what in the world? Dean? <laughs> Isn't that Lycus? Isn't that what, uh, what, uh, what, what, what Tom Lycus says? Dean? We are going to go to Dean Router. We're going to find him on the old Skip Skype, the old Skype Rooney. I tell you, I need, I need a bigger desk. That's what I need. I need a bigger goddamn desk. So we are going to (laughs) go. I need to make your goddamn desk. That's what I need. So. We've got to find Dean. I bet. I bet. He's not there. I bet. He doesn't pick up the Skype. No, he does not. Okay, well, let's do this. Can we call him on the old... I don't want to call him there. Let's call him on the phone and see what happens here. We will call him... Remember when when Skype used to make the, uh, the, the phone noise with the tones? And people would dial people's numbers and they'd be like, Oh my God, I got the phone number. Bah! prank call people the kdk prank calls whatever happened to those pieces of crap i don't think they're around anymore ah uh, where is dr dean Dean. you have reached the voicemail box of seven zero three five okay, nine well. seven four six three eight at the tone please record your voice message when you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Dean, it is James Lowe calling you for your radio interview. Give me a call back here, 620-402-0878, or I tried to Skype you earlier and I couldn't get anything out of that, so uh, give me a call back when you can. Thank you, sir. What a goddamn circus. What a f- fucking circus today <laughs> this is such a mess we, we we didn't find our guest uh we have to go in and we have to add this 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 unknown guy who apparently is part of this call who is this character who, who is this guy who is this guy as the great alan burker would say He's got live 34 FB 8 by 9 or whatever the fuck. 
Okay, well, let's see if we can add 895 live uh, 2513 or whatever the fuck. Oh, what a mess. Okay. You know, the, okay. like panels. I I I I think I think I found him. He called me on another line. I had to hang up, and we had to do a bunch of adding, and just it's just a nightmare. So we're ho I'm hoping that he'll join us here. But uh, go, go, go ahead and introduce yourself, my friend. Tell me and John a little bit about yourself here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm Jay. I'm the drummer in Little Triggers. I'm from Liverpool. I'm here too, uh, man. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. perfect, perfect. So tell me about Little Triggers. <laughs> t t t tell me all about it. We're a two-piece rock band from Liverpool, and we like playing it heavy and loud and quite energetic. Yeah. So, uh, so, so being from Liverpool, we have we have got uh, Little Triggers with us today here in our broadcast, which is. Uh, uh, quite interesting so uh, d d t tell me about the band tell me all about the band well, yeah. it's me and jay just the two of us yeah guitar drums um the guitars of is beefed up a bit through um multiple amps three amplifiers yeah three amps uh to to sort of beef it up um, we we wear a four piece, which you might have already know if you've done a uh, any research. But um, yep. yeah, so we uh, we downsized <laughs> uh, no, with, uh, with members, but not on sound. <laughs> so yeah, we have got little triggers joining us today here in a broadcast. So why are you guys called little triggers? Uh, it's the name of an Elvis Costello song, and I couldn't pick a bad name, so I just I thought that sounded quite cool, so I just picked that. <laughs> pick that. <laughs> little little triggers with us today. They join us live here on our big program, and uh, they are uh, quite interesting. And uh, they join us uh, from uh, where are you guys calling us? From the United Kingdom? Is that is that where you're at? Liverpool, man, yeah. Look at that. So, uh, t t t tell me a little bit about uh, some of your musical heroes and some of your influences. Go on, Tom. Um, I love Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Humble Pie, the late, great Little Richard, Jerry Lee Lewis, just rock and roll, really. Anything played with quite a lot of exciting, excitement and energy in it. Mm -hmm. I love, love lots of soul, Otis Redding, Wilson Pickett, all that. The Black Sabbath, be the Beatles, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, quite, I was a big quite, Beatles quite fan. With them, a lot of them as well, to be honest with you. Um, Led Zeppelin was a big one as well, and Jimi Hendrix. Um, yeah, quite a big Nirvana fan. Um, yeah, I mean, take take a lot of I like funky stuff and that as well, like some of the soul and that, and I kind of bring it all together. You know what I mean? Bit of everything in in a sort of rubbish answer. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, actually true. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so, but yeah, so bit of everything really. Little triggers with us today. They join us live here in our broadcast. So. Uh... You guys uh, are are in England. Tell me a little bit about the music scene where you guys are from. Not yeah. going on at the minute, obviously. <laughs> yeah, a bit quiet at the minute, like. <laughs> but um, uh, Liverpool's pretty good. Um, there's not really. I don't know. I don't think there's not really many bands like us. Kind of playing here, do you think, Tom? No, it's a lot more indie or. Yeah, a bit kind of lighter. It was, it was quite a bit psyche for a bit. Yeah, um, still is. Actually. Still quite psyche, but there's not really, not really as um, heavy as us kind of thing. But Liverpool's pretty good. You know, we we can gig here whenever we want, really. You know, well, when there's no virus and that. 
But uh, yeah, we can gig here whenever you want. It's pretty good. Um, obviously, England itself, the whole country is good as well when there's no uh, lockdown and stuff. Um, yeah, you can go to any city and you can get some good gigs, you know, like like we have done. We've played all over the place and uh, yeah, it's good. Little Triggers with us today. They join us live here in our broadcast. And uh, they are a, a very interesting group, and uh, they're with us today here on Skype. So you guys have a, a music video for Bang, Bang, Out, Go the Lights. Tell me a little bit about this. Yeah, that was shot in Wrexham in Wales in a basement. <laughs> it was, yeah. That was shot in a little, well, yeah, a little town in Wales. Um, by some students by some students yeah um, just wanted to give it a kind of um, kind of you know old school kind of feel um, with the cameras and stuff uh, so we just sort of went with that and um, the black and white in the background and all that kind of thing and you know we obviously dress that's that's how we dress kind of thing Um you know, cool, old school, suave, you know, but rocking out, you know what I mean? So, That's yeah, awesome. That's, That's awesome. It was beyond I, was that at, I was looking at your guys' website here, and it said that you guys did, like, a festival over in France, and you guys went over pretty well. What is the difference? I mean, have you guys gone around Europe a bunch or just, like, more in the the Great Britain area in France? Um, it's... What's the differences between the locales and stuff and the scenes and the music? I think Europeans love sort of heavier stuff and they really love rock and they're quite appreciative of English people playing it for some reason. Don't know why. And I think Britain's more, a bit more trendy, a bit more avant-garde in its popular music at the minute. Yeah. Like I, I totally agree. Like France go absolutely mad for us. Not not just say, like not just saying that, but like everywhere we went, people were like yeah. really just bouncing. You being like this tiny little place, and the whole place, you know, everybody in there was going nuts, kind of thing. Whereas in England, a bit more reserved, isn't it? A lot, yeah, a lot more reserved in that respect. And you know, we go down well in places, but you you tend to find that the uh, crowd are a lot lot more subdued in most places in England. Now what's the like the scene back there? Because a lot of the I'm a little bit older than James here and stuff. But I mean I liked a lot of what we would have called more obscure to us over here in the US. There's a band Slade, they were huge over in Europe and they made a comeback in the eighties and hit over here with the song Runaway. And I mean it was high energy loved it but they were kind of obscure is there any bands like, like that that you would think of from like it's more like obscure um over there for you guys that were from the u.s that was kind of like because i mean slade which wasn't a one-hit wonder was considered a one-hit wonder is I there any bands do you think of that way the band, the band slade slade oh, not i love them i love not them. Old, yeah yeah they were they were kind of they had some good hits in the 70s and stuff, but they weren't as prominent over in the U.S. Yeah, they were massive in England. But they came back in the yeah the 80s. They were huge for about a year and then kind of went off, off into obscurity over here. But I found some of their music and other things, and I just loved that band. But yeah. is there any bands you thought of that would be kind of, they'd be obscure over in the English scene where they're kind of more passe over here in the U.S.? Because, I mean, there were bands like Red Rider and Dexy's Midnight Runners that I loved, but they were considered, you know, one-hit wonders over here where they had a little bit more of a following over in the British Isles and stuff, so. Yeah. Clearwater Revival? Okay. I really like a band, do you know, a band called Death From Above 1979. I think they might be Canadian, though. Yeah, it's all right. It's North America. You're good. It's pretty, yeah. yeah. It's, all, it's all the same to us. <laughs> How many message? There's a great yeah. band called Daddy Long Legs from New York. Wow. Yeah. Um, 
And I kind of threw out a tangent there. Rush, rush it on. You know, Rush it, a pretty massive band over there as well, aren't they? But you don't. They're you, Canadian too, I think. Yeah, they are. They're, they Sorry, were huge not, in the I'm 70s here. Bands so. bands. <laughs> no, you're actually doing right. Because, I mean, that was a huge band over here through the 70s into the early 80s. So it might be a little bit more obscure over yeah. that way. Same thing with, like, Triumph. They were Canadian, but they were kind of big for a long time here. Yeah, yeah. I'd definitely say it's to say them. Um, yeah, I started listening to them quite quite a lot recently. Um, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. L- little triggers with us today. They joined us live here on our broadcast. So uh, if, if you had to compare your music to... to, to you know something if if you were you know tr- trying to shift people to your music what would you compare you guys to sort of like the hives mixed with led zeppelin but there's only two of them yeah that's that's <laughs> pretty spot on actually i was gonna say led zeppelin, like but yeah yeah hivesy led zeppelin yeah definitely that's all. That's awesome. So, uh, what's been the the feedback you guys have gotten on uh, your music so far? Good. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what happened? <laughs> what caused the consolidation from a four man to a two man thing? Was it just yeah. you know you guys thought it was better just with the two of you, or the other the guys just like got other things going on, or um. Or do you just want me to drop that one because it no, might be a little bit too personal or something? Okay. No, no, no honestly, no. Um, it wasn't a really, it wasn't really like a bad break or anything, was it, Tom? Um, no. Yeah. It wasn't a huge fallout, like. Um, but they just sort of said they were, you know, they weren't, they weren't into it anymore. They were just gonna. I don't know what they're doing musically now. I haven't really spoke to them, but yeah, they just decided, you know. That, they, 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 they were doing stuff. too many gigs for them. Yeah, the, yeah. They took all their holiday days in work, so they couldn't do any gigs. Uh-huh. Yeah. I just thought they weren't really, they were not as committed as us, basically. And when it got, when it starts getting like serious, you kind of realize how many, you know, what you have to do to be in a band sort of thing. And they just kind of decided. Yeah, so. And then um, we just sort of said, well, you know, let's let's keep doing it. Obviously, um, so you know, kept the momentum as uh, playing as a two, and then just sort of decided let's just do it. We were gonna get a third member in, but then we tried it as a two, and it sounded pretty good. So we yeah. just put it like that. Yeah, we just sort of decided instead of going around trying to find someone, just blast it out as a two and just just have it like. Awesome. Awesome, <laughs> you know, and at 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 least it wasn't uh, you know a a big mess. No, no, it wasn't at all. No, it was fine. I mean, we were worried for a little bit. We were like, oh, you know, what are we gonna do here, kind of thing. But then we just thought, you know, just pulled ourselves together and just thought, just rocking out. You know what I mean? We have got a uh, great guest with us today. Little triggers join us here in our broadcast. And uh, I, I will have to say that, uh, that, that this has been an interesting, uh, interesting show so far. Interesting segment here with little triggers. So uh, talk to us a little bit about where you see the band uh, in, in a few years. In America. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, yeah, just, um, yeah, hopefully growing. But, um few albums yeah i mean definitely yeah albums more recordings you know we were due to record like ages ago now but obviously everything's closed so that's been a bit of a shame but um yeah recordings and and now that we've got this sort of contact over in the u.s we'd love to to get over there that's always been a bit of a dream of mine and Tom's um, to get over to the US, hasn't it, Tom? Indeed. Um, so, yeah, hopefully just, just growing and, and growing and 
expanding, branching out more, more, more tours in Europe and US, and yeah, Just keep plodding on, you know. <laughs> awesome, awesome. We so have got. The, what's the atmosphere? Go sorry, I was gonna say, what, no. what's the atmosphere like over there right now? Is are things starting to open up a little over there, or is it still pretty much tight, kind of locked down, or is it kind of in between, or? Everyone's getting drunk in the park. <laughs> Sounds like normal over here right now, but that's yeah. because nobody could go to work. So. Yeah, it's, it's sort of similar thing. Yeah, it's, it seems to be like easing up a little bit. Like you know, the 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 official announcement was like, oh yeah, it's going to ease a little bit, and that means like absolutely everybody just goes out. So <laughs> it's kind of. Um, yeah, it's kind of eased, but it's, uh, I don't know, people don't seem too, too down about it or anything anymore, but obviously all the weird and all the shops and everything, you don't know where you can stand or go or whatever anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's eased up quite a bit over here, but it's like you know, you're talking about drunk in the park, sounds like outside Jiggy's apartment. Over yes. there where he lives. So. Yes, and that 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 that, that that's, that's just, just normal. That's, that's just not like normal because of the crisis. Yeah, so. yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, it's not the procedure. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's pretty standard. Yes, <laughs> it is. It, it is. It is. It is standard stuff over here in the. Uh, as I like to like to refer to it, the local drug infested neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> we have we have little triggers of this today. They join us live in a broadcast, so. I guess as we wrap up here, tell me about this track. We're going to play it here in a few moments. This, bang. this, bang, yes. Bang, bang. T -t 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 <laughs> tell us all about it. <laughs> Quite fast, it's loud, and it's really catchy. It's you very, you remember it. Yeah, I'd say, um, you know, like you say about oh, what's the sound and everything, and I think this is very us. Because uh, it's our first like main thing as a two piece, isn't it, Tom? Yeah. Um, that we sort of like crafted as the two piece. So this is very us, and this is sort of like it's sort of saying you know what we're about. Bang, you know, in your face, loud energy, fast, you know, good times, rocking out. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, I I appreciate you guys taking the time today to to be with us and and chat with us and uh i look forward to more out of you guys and uh we'll talk to you soon thank you gentlemen cheers man you're welcome Bye. nice to speak Bye. to you appreciate it thank you gentlemen and uh we are gonna go to little triggers uh man what a circus today but we made it work uh bang 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 uh bang 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 and uh, we are gonna, we are gonna bang, 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 and then we've got our next guest coming up. So we are gonna go to Little Figures right now.
Well, that's that. It's Little Triggers. And it is. As Peter is knocking my audio down. <laughs>